You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, subbing to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you, and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Hope you all have uh, gotten through this Black Friday with some grace and aplomb, and I hope you all uh, are able to rest afterwards. It is such an awful day of the year, I think pretty much for most people who have to work in retail. But anyway, guys, just sit back and enjoy this entertainment. All right, it is. When he does, when he has a particularly exhausting day, and usually he always he's always in a bad mood during those. Oh, oh. Here's hoping he reigns in a little since we have a guest. Do I even still count as, as just a guest after 12 years? As far as Dad is concerned, even Hatoka is probably a guest. That's just cold. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go get changed. Be right back. You're welcome to do so, too, if you have a change of clothes with you. Nah, wasn't planning on going anywhere after class, so I didn't bring one. Oh, gotcha. Hmm. While Shuichi is away, I took a seat on the armchair, looking around myself for anything that might hold my interest. I've only been here a couple times before, so the whole place still feels a little alien to me. I can't help but feel a little on edge knowing knowing Takahiko-san is supposed to be home. Not knowing where he is and him not even knowing that I'm here really makes me anxious. Looking at the nearby coffee table, I spot the little origami box. I pick it up very gingerly, manipulating it between my hands and examining it with curiosity. Knowing what I know now, this thing suddenly has a very different meaning from the last time I saw it. The first time I saw it, I thought it was just a, wee a bit weird that Shuichi kept all of these let alone having it immortalized in an acrylic box. But now, I find it kind of cute. I still think this thing is super ugly, though. <clears throat> I really wish Shuichi would have framed one of the better ones. Hey, what you looking at? Oh, hey, I was taking another look at this. The origami. Why? Well, now that I know what I know, I kind of got interested in it. Oh, you probably think it's a little creepy, don't you? Not at all. Nah, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, it's kind of cute. Huh, I have to say, I didn't expect that to be a response. Really? What were you expecting? Well, I always had a little voice in my head telling me that it was creepy that I kept all these for so long. Hell, sometimes the voice didn't come from the back of my mind. It came from my dad criticizing me for wasting so much space in my closet keeping the box with them. You know what? I can kind of see his point. Right, right? So, I don't know. I, it's just not what I expected. I guess I wasn't crazy this whole time. I, somehow I feel a little annoyed to be wrong. And here I thought people would get happy when told that they are not, in fact, acting like obsessive creeps. Hey, I never said it made sense. Hopefully you'll stick with me, even if I'm being weird or not making sense, or, well, you get the gist. I've already had, I already had 12 years experience with that job, and it's 24-7, buddy. Point taken. Shuichi sits on the couch directly across from me. Despite how tense things were just a bit earlier thanks to the dynamic duo, he seems really relaxed and happy. It brings a smile to my face just seeing him like that. By the way, are you sure Takahiko-san is home? Yeah, I checked his room when I went to get changed. You know, since the door was already ajar, he's definitely taking a nap. Maybe we should be a little more quiet when we talk then. I wouldn't worry about that. A missile could fall in the neighborhood and he wouldn't wake up. Well, realistically speaking, if a missile fell in the neighborhood, he wouldn't wake up because he, you know, died. What? Of course not. He'd just wake up to find himself dead. How do you wake up to find yourself dead? Dead people don't just wake up. Oh god, it reminds me of Scary Movie 3. And this, and, and this morning, he woke up dead. Hey, how do you wake up dead? Because you're alive when you go to sleep. <laughs> how can you wake up in a bed? And How can you wake up dead in a bed? Okay, I don't know how. I, don't, I, I forget how he said that. that was funny. Alrighty. I don't know. Maybe it's some zombie voodoo stuff. Zombie powder. Really? Zombie voodoo stuff? That's so incredibly realistic and likely to happen. In my defense, I never claimed it was either of those things. Fair enough. Do you have any plans to talk to your dad about the volleyball club today? No way. Like I told you before, I'm gonna leave that for after we get the results. But you already said you did well. Why do you need to wait? You don't really think he's just going to take my word for it, do you? Well, yeah, I do. You poor sweet summer child. Don't look down on me for not having a weird childhood. You didn't have a weird childhood. Nope, not at all. Come on, you yourself are weird. By definition, that makes your childhood weird too. Wow, thanks, I feel so loved. 
You're welcome. Shuichi. Takiko-san's voice echoes from down the hall, and Shuichi immediately jumps to his feet. The older husky walks into the living room, immediately stopping in his tracks when he sees me sitting on his chair. Hey there, sorry, did we wake you? No, I set an alarm so I could wake up right about now. His eyes fall straight on me, and he stares at me in silence for a few seconds. Immediately, I begin to feel nervous. I, I feel like I'm sweating from my forehead. I didn't know you were coming over, Yuichi. As soon as those words are spoken, he takes a seat on the couch, right next to the spot Shuichi had been sitting on. Shuichi bites his lip, looking at his father with uncertainty. He looks so nervous around him. Is this all because he brought me over without asking? What are you doing? Are you just going to stand there gaping all day like an idiot? Sit down, boy. But right. Shuichi quickly goes back to his seat, looking between the two of us. Meanwhile, Takahiko-san is just watching me. I feel really weird being stared at so intently. He spends quite a few seconds in silence. He'd always been a very quiet man. This isn't the first time something like this had happened, but... After what Shuichi told me last week when he spent the night, I suddenly feel really weird about this whole thing. So, it was exam week at school this week, wasn't it? Huh? Y yeah, it was. Do you suppose you did well? I think. I, I didn't have a hard time answering the questions, at least. That's good. Hopefully Shuichi won't do, won't, do terrible, won't do too terrible either. That's unfair. I always do well in my tests. Mm-hmm. And hopefully that streak will remain. Shuichi's been working really hard and studying a lot. I'm sure he'll do really well. He can stand to work harder, if you ask me. Kids nowadays have no sense of work ethic. Dad. What about your sister? Did you check up on her? Huh? Wasn't aware that I should. Takikyo-san raises a single eyebrow. His expression remains just as unreadable as always. I just can't tell what the man is thinking, especially because he's prone to long periods of silence. This is her first year in high school. It's your job as her older brother to take care of her. You can't really be that incompetent, can you? No, I'm sure she did fine. How? You just said you didn't check up on her. Or are you just making stuff up now? I can ask her now. Bah, forget it. There's no point now. It's difficult to bite my tongue. I know if I tried to say anything, I'd just make things harder for Shuichi, but this kind of crap makes me furious. I got a glimpse of it during Takahiko-san's party a while ago, but Shuichi kept steering me away from his father for the most of the time. Not to mention the older husky was far too busy entertaining his guests. But now he's just being vicious, and for no reason. This isn't the Takahiko-san I remember. Is this why Shuichi always refused to let me come over to after his parents divorced? What happened here? Uh, yeah, his dad became a bitter old man because he got caught fucking up. And he got held accountable for his actions, you know. Fuck around, find out. Consequences. You know, the first thing Shuichi did after exams were over was head to the student council room and start working there, alone. Shuichi is the most hardworking person I know. You should cut him some slack. Shuichi chokes, staring at me with wide open eyes and a face of pure shock and terror. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was, t I was talking back to Takahiko-san. I just couldn't stand having him talk to Shuichi like this anymore. The man leans forward on his seat, his eyes suddenly growing even colder than usual. He stares at me with a pure detachment that I did not think possible. Is that so? He's just saying that. You know how he is. He has a tendency to run his mouth and all. You should just... I don't believe I was talking to you. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. Right. Sorry, sir. I feel rage boiling inside me. I have to physically grip the arms of the chair. Otherwise, I might actually try to punch this man. I appreciate you that you somehow thought it appropriate to offer me your opinion. Without being asked. However, I'd appreciate if you didn't try to talk to me about my son as if I didn't know him. But you're... Yuichi! Yuichi cuts me off, staring at me with pleading eyes. I can already tell he wants me to shut up more than anything else at this moment. I'm just making things harder for him. Even though I can tell that Takahiko-san is very annoyed right now, even despite his icy exterior, but... Um, guys, uh, please let me know in the comments if I'm making the right choice. I, I can't bring myself to be quiet about this shit. Like, like I, I'm not fucking stand up for my boy. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, come the fuck on with this bullshit, you know? Oh, good lord. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Alrighty. Let's do it. I can't. I just can't swallow this for even one more minute. You're being unfair to him. Of course I'm going to say something. You expect too much. I expect competence, nothing more. Just as my father expected of me. I don't care about what kind of baggage you have. You're taking things too far. I've done it now. I let my temper completely take me over and shout out those last few words. Shuichi whimpers in his seat, clearly horrified. I see a flash of anger going through the older husky's eyes for barely even a second. It's still enough to send a shiver right up my spine. Is that so? His voice is even more monotone than usual. 
The man stands up, looking down on me with a hardened expression. A part of me is sounding an alarm inside my head, telling me I screwed up. I only say this once, so as long as he lives under my roof, my son will obey my rules and work to fulfill the high expectations I have of him. I will not have anyone urging him to be a rebellious delinquent. If you cannot follow these rules, then you are not welcome here. What? You're kicking me out because I asked you not to be a dick to him? Get out of my house, Michimaya, and don't come back until you can respect me in here. You can't be serious. Shuichi, he's being crazy. You're not going to listen to him, are you? He immediately looks away from me. Shuichi's pressing himself so far back on the couch, it's almost like he's melting into it. He's clearly so uncomfortable just being here. He's completely avoiding my gaze. My heart sinks as soon as I see it. Shuichi? Leave. Shuichi doesn't speak a single word. It's not like I expected him to go against his father to defend me, but... He won't even look at me? Fine. I grab my bag and walk out the door. Damn. Alright guys, let me know if I screwed up. I'll go back. Most of the time, there's always a really nice breeze up here. Today, though, even the air feels like it has grown stagnant. I've been sitting here for probably a few hours already. I didn't even feel like showing up to class today, and yet here I am. Aki basically forced me out the door, grumbling about how I could be such a useless older brother sometimes. I, of course, didn't tell him anything about what happened last Friday. It's not like any good came out of it. He'd probably just get really worried about the whole situation. Shuichi hasn't talked to, hasn't talked to me at all since I left his house, which is uncommon for him. At first I was fine with that because I was really mad at him, but now I just feel sad. I couldn't bring myself to sit through hours of classes, so instead I came up to the rooftop and sighted the ditch. Going outside would be too risky since I might end up getting picked up for truancy, and that would be hard to explain. I think, it's, I think it should probably be around lunch break by now. I, I'm not quite sure. I spent most of my time up here either staring at the clouds, sleeping, or playing games on my portable. Mm -hmm. I fished my phone out of my pocket, and I'm welcome, and I'm welcomed by a text from Saya. I don't really feel like talking, so I decided to just shut it down and toss it into my bag. No way it's going to distract me now. If I'm lucky, they'll think I didn't show up at all today, and no one will come, lo will come looking for me up here. My man, literally everyone, literally everyone, thinks that you come up here. <laughs> it's not exactly a secret that I like coming up to the rooftop, yep. So if they know I'm at school and they wanted to talk to me, they'd likely come up here real quick. Blah, being really predictable sucks. And also, feeling like this also sucks. Why do I have to get all wimpy and sad all of a sudden? I shouldn't even care. I wish I could go back to just not caring. Things were much easier when I was just apathetic to everything around me. Stupid Shuichi. Hmm? Crap, someone's coming up here after all. In the position I'm in, I can't really get up to try and hide in time, so instead... There you are! The only one that appears in my line of sight is a surprisingly tall childhood friend of mine. I figured you'd find me. You're not exactly a master at hiding. You're pretty predictable most of the time. I was hoping people would just think I didn't come to class today and wouldn't find me. People saw you walking through the gate, you know. Oh, right. Hey, are you okay? Hmm? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Have you talked to Shuichi about it? Huh? Why are you asking me that? Come on, it doesn't take doesn't take much to know something's wrong. He didn't show up for class. Shuichi is walking around looking like a zombie. It isn't difficult to put two and two together. This is what I get for telling you about us, isn't it? Oh, please. Like, it wasn't obvious even without that. Huh? I've known you two were, you've known you two were dating already. I was just being nice and waiting for you guys to tell me yourselves. And when you, and when you didn't, I decided to ask directly to see if you'd come clean about it. You really are nosy, aren't you? A little bit late on the, a little bit late on the lecture. I shake my head, clutching my face in the palm of my hands and groaning into them. So, what seems to be the problem anyway? Please tell me you didn't fall back into your old M.O. already. What? No, of course I didn't. Then, you two are still together? I don't know, maybe. What? No, 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 you have to know. You cannot, you can't not know. Did she come all the way up here because she was worried about me or because she wanted gossip? Saya-chan, I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about this. Can you just leave me alone? Boo! Not you two. Two? I tried asking Shuichi kind of bad at first, but he just brushed me off and asked me to be left alone. <laughs> so she really did come up here just for the gossip. What's with the, that? What's with that look on your face? It's nothing. Just that's just what my face looks like. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for meddling. Please stop, stop glaring at me like that. Sheesh. I don't think she's sorry at all, but this is just too bothersome to keep up. Can you just leave me for me for can you just leave me for B now, please? I don't know, you look really upset, and I don't like the idea of leaving a friend alone when he's upset. You left Shuichi alone? That's different. He's physically pushed me out of his classroom. I can do the same. A nice try. You're not Shuichi. 
I'll crack one of your nuts before you even get the chance. Ah, what? That's so unfair. Life isn't about fairness, Cotton. Cotton? Yeah, I saw someone call a guy that in a movie. Why am I friends with you? What do you mean? Why wouldn't you be? I give up. I don't have the patience to deal with her free-spirited ways. Not right now, at least. Hmm? You going somewhere? I get up from the floor, dusting the back of my pants clear and heading for the door. Class, lunch break is going to end soon anyway. Really? I thought you were going to ditch all day. So did I. Without even looking back at her, I speak while my hand clutches the doorknob. I feel a tiny little bit better. Thanks, Saya-chan. A few hours later. Before I even noticed it, the bell rang. I quickly take a look at the notes I've made, somewhat surprised at just how complete, how, just how complete they are. I thought coming to class would just be all, be all around terrible, but instead I, I felt super focused for some reason. Besides, the mood around here is so much better after the end of midterms that I just couldn't help but feel a little bit better myself, a little bit better myself just being around the cheerful atmosphere. I suppose I owe my classmates one, even if they have no idea why. The only exception being... An exception has occurred. Okay, what in the world is going on here? Let's, uh, ignore. Okay. June is nowhere to be seen today. Hey, do you guys know if June sent an absence note or something? Oh, what the f- <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey there, June. I try asking the mouse twins who sit nearby since I always tend to get tend to get here somewhat early. No, not really. Even if he did, even if <clears throat> even if he even if he did, absence notes absence notes still tend to be publicized to the students, you know. I suppose. Still, didn't hurt to ask. I wonder if everything's all right. He seems to be struggling a lot the last week, especially on Friday. Maybe he's fallen ill. I have to admit that's a scary thought. Maybe I should send him a message to check him up on him. In the meantime, I'm gonna head to practice. It'll be good to move around and focus on something else for a change. It's good to distract myself when I'm in a bad mood. Besides working out some aggression while hitting a few swerves sounds amazing right now. Thanks. Thanks, anyway. I'm gonna head to practice now. See ya! The younger brother doesn't even bat an eye, waving me off and turning back to his brother to continue chatting. The elder brother stares at me, however, frowning and biting at the edge of his lip. Hey, are you alright? Huh? Who? Me? That's a weird question to ask all of a sudden. Hmm, you look a bit zonked out to me, though. Zonked out? And you're deflecting. I'm fine. That's just your imagination. Hmm, if you say so. He shoots me another suspicious look, but I don't bother to stick around. I just can't deal with something with someone being all worried about me right now. I'm not in a good state of mind to be fielding questions. So instead, I'll choose to flee. I might be cowardly, but I'll be damned if it doesn't work every time. I was expecting June to be there. Sometime later. The sound of rushed steps and rackets hitting balls fills my ears. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Guys, let me know in the comment section if I fucked up. I, I would assume that standing up for Shuichi is a good thing, but... Yeah, you never know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bring that notification bell. If a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!